Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David Milan and I'm an HR professional working in Australia. Today I wanted to show you how you can use Notion to get better at job interviews. Over the course of my career as an HR professional, I've interviewed hundreds of people and some people do really well at interviews and other people, they struggle. And I'm hoping that this video will help those of you who struggle with job interviews. I'm hoping that it will help you to get better and feel more confident so that when you're going for a job, you can present your best self in the interview. For those of you who do well at interviews, you might learn something from this as well. During a job interview, it's really common to be asked a series of questions which align to competencies that are required to perform the role. And the better your answers align to those competencies, the more likely uh, you are to demonstrate that you're able to do the role and the more success you will have in the interview. Performing well in the interview, it's just one part of the process. There's many other points of data that are considered during recruitment. So they'll look at your past experience, your referees, your qualifications, and, and those types of things. But the interview does carry a lot of weight. And so whatever you can do to uh, improve your interviewing ability will help you overall in terms of the recruitment process. So when you answer a question in a job interview, your answer should be really specific. For example, if you were in an interview and they were testing initiative and they were using a question like, tell us about a time where you've used initiative in a work situation, you should really be able to think back to a specific time, a specific job. Think about the company that you were working in, what role you had, what you did to demonstrate initiative, how you use that initiative to achieve a result. And that's just one competency. So there's a lot to remember. And in an interview, you might be asked three, four, five different questions. But there is a technique that you can use which makes it easier to answer questions and it makes it more likely that you're going to be able to get your point across and demonstrate what you achieved to the interviewer. So when you answer a question in a job interview, a great way to answer is to use the STAR technique. STAR stands for Situation and Task, Action and Result. And I'll go through each of those in detail so that you can understand how they work. So if I was answering that question regarding initiative, I would probably say something like I was working for a company called Associated Strategies, I was a senior consultant, and we'd recently secured a contract to provide services to a client who was an importer-exporter of hardware supplies. So I'd be showing in the interview and, and painting a picture of the situation, and referring to a specific example in the past. For task, you need to explain what responsibility you had, what part you played in terms of the example that you're providing. If we refer back to that previous example that I, I just gave, if I was answering that question, I would build on from that and I would say, as part of my role at Associated Strategies, I was responsible for pricing and uh, providing uh, pricing analysis to our new client. I had to work closely with finance and marketing, and at the time that we picked up this new client, there was lots of mixed messages, lots of competing priorities and things going on, so it was a really busy time. So I'm showing what part I had to play. So I'm painting a picture in terms of the situation, and then going to task I was responsible for pricing analysis. So for action, this is where you describe how you completed the task. And this is the key part of the interview. This is where you demonstrate how you've achieved something in the past. So you show your value and what value you can provide. This is where you should spend the majority of your time in terms of your answer. If you wanna talk about a team example, that's fine. Just make sure that you're not saying we did this and we did that, because then you're not really showing what part you played. And the interviewers might think that, other people were responsible for the end result that you're going to share. So if we return to that previous example, if I was answering that question on an initiative, I would say during a team meeting, I had noticed that there appeared to be an error in some of the calculations that one of my teammates had put together. After the meeting, I met with him and I explained what I had discovered. He had a quick look over it, but he didn't really have a lot of time to, to look into it in detail. And he said it was really unlikely that the client would spend time looking at that part of the proposal anyway. I asked him if it would be okay if I took it away and had a look at it myself, would he be able to send me any of the data that he'd used to make the calculation? He said it was pretty complicated and he wouldn't have time to take me through it, but he would send me something anyway. I got the data and I went back to my desk. He was right, it was really complicated. And I spent some time online just searching of, of different ways to, to do the calculations and, and teaching myself how to do it. Eventually I did discover a mistake and I, and I took it back to him and I pointed it out. He was really grateful that I'd found it and uh, he changed the presentation. Okay, so the final part, result, this is where you showcase and demonstrate what 
benefit your action was able to provide. So what you did, what did it achieve? So if I return to that previous example, if I was answering that in an interview, I would say the client ended up coming in for a meeting and we put the presentation on the screen and we went through it and they ended up spending a lot of time talking about that particular section which I had identified that had an error. And so they went into that in a lot of detail. And thankfully, based on the work that I'd done, we were able to present a presentation to them without any mistakes. And so that is working through STAR with a, with a live example. And now I'll spend some time showing you how you could capture it in Notion. So here on the screen, we have a list of uh, different achievements in the workplace. And on the right here, we have the different competencies that they would align to. So I'll show you an example of one. So if I open this one here, pitch to tech firm, so you can see situation and task at the top here, action, result. And then in this section here, you can select what competency you think that this answer, this example would align to. I've also put a, a section in there for company, role and year. If you have a great day at work and you get lots of good feedback about something, document what you've achieved in Notion in this template. And over time, you will build up a, a library of examples so that when you have to go to an interview, you can look over them and refresh your memory on what you did and what you achieved. And they're all in star format, so that will help you to get used to that method of answering and that, that way of showcasing and demonstrate what value that you, you provided in each situation. So let's just say that you applied for a job and you were told that you had an interview and you're wanting to prepare for it. You can go into your database, look at your examples, uh, look at the things that you've recorded, come up here to add a view, and you could create a view which has the name of the job that you've applied for. So let's just say it's custom service role application, and you click on create here. And then what you could do is you could go up to uh, filter. Uh, let's make this one a list actually. So we'll just change this to be a list that's easier to see. And you go up here to filter and you click on add a filter. And in the job ad, you may have noticed that it said certain competencies that they were looking for. And you can click on those competencies using the filter and see all the examples that come up. So let's click on, for example, we'll click on adaptability, then we'll add another filter and we'll click on communication and we'll add a, and we'll make sure that it's set to or so that it will bring up all the different options. And we'll click add another filter and bring up another one that has a customer orientation in it. So you'll see now that it's bringing up five different examples that align to those competencies that you have put in the filters, which align to the job ad that you've applied for. And then you can go through them and refresh your memory on what you achieved. So I've also included a couple of other views. You can click on achievements by role. So if you were going for a business analyst role, for example, you could look at any examples that you'd recorded against a business analyst, or if you were going for an associate analyst or a consultant role, you could basically look at all the different roles that you've held in the past and what you achieved assigned to each role and you can refresh your memory. I've also included a view in here where you can look at achievements by company. And so you can look over the different companies that you've worked for and what you achieved at each company. I'll include a link in the description if you would like to use it yourself. I hope that this has been useful for you. If you enjoyed uh, this video, I'll also include a link in the description to how I read books in Notion. I hope that this will help you to be better at job interviews. I know uh, given everything that's going on in the world at the moment, uh, there's lots of people who are looking for work. So I hope that this will help you to put your best foot forward when you're interviewing. Thanks again for taking the time to watch and I will see you in the next video.